Here, Jimmy, wear a jacket. Otherwise, you will fall sick. Well, you should always wear clothes according to the weather. It's lucky I had an extra jacket. Hmm. Wow, I had a great day at school today. How was yours? Okay, we have a test on weather and climate tomorrow. Seriously, Jimmy, don't you check the weather forecast? When we moved here, my dad said that the climate in this place was warm and nice. Yes, we have a warm climate here, but the weather can keep changing and you need to be prepared for that. Now I'm confused. Jimmy, let me tell you something about weather and climate. Oh great, that will also help me with my test tomorrow. Weather of a place tells you how that place feels right now. The weather today was funny, cold in the morning, rainy a minute back and now it's sunny. It sure was funny. Thanks to you, I was okay today. <laughs> yep, that's why it makes sense to watch the weather forecast. Do you know that climate and weather are two different things? They are? Yes, you saw how the weather changed today. But the climate of a place means how that place has felt over a long period of time. I don't quite get it. Let me explain. For example, we know that Canada is a cold place. That is because over many, many years, that is how the usual weather of Canada has been. Hmm, now it makes sense. For example, deserts have a hot climate. Yes, because the average weather there has been hot for many years. Hmm, so climate is how the weather has been on an average for a long period of time. Yes, that's right. How long? Well, like 30 years. Oh, that's a long time. Let's go inside now. I'm hungry. Hmm, I wonder how many different climates there are. Well, the climate is decided by two main factors. Temperature and precipitation. Precipitation. What? Precipitation. It means water falling from the sky. Oh, so don't you say rain? It could be rain, but it can also be other things like snow or hail. Okay. The earth is divided into three major climate zones. Depending on your place on the earth, you could be either in the tropical temperate or polar zone. I sure don't want to be in that polar zone. Look, precipitation. The weather's changing. Yes, it is. Weather is more complicated than climate. Oh, I love complicated stuff. Tell me about it. In addition to temperature and precipitation, weather also means air pressure moisture, clouds or fog and winds. It sure can get very windy here sometimes. Last weekend, I saw a man's hat flying away in the wind. So tell me, do you understand the elements that make up weather? I think so. Okay, temperature. How hot or cold it is. Precipitation. Fancy name for rain or snow. Winds, the speed of air around you, fast or slow. Clouds, 
can be white, grey, black. Sky is sometimes overcast with clouds and is clear at other times. Very good. Now the tough one, moisture. Um, I know how much water is in the air. Sometimes it can be humid or muggy and rather dry sometimes. Super! You're a smart kid. Now the last one, air pressure. Uh, I guess, uh, I think, um, I'm not sure. It's okay. Air pressure means how much air is pressing down on the earth's surface. Depending on the height of a place or how cold or warm the air is, air pressure changes from place to place. I think I'm ready for my test tomorrow. Okay, so tell me, how is climate different from weather? You are like climate because you are usually good to me over a long time. But my baby sister is like weather. Her mood can change any time. <laughs> <laughs>